Hey guys, it is officially that time of year again. It is time for True Blood to almost be on HBO, which means it's all so... Time to drink. Time for us to drink. Like always, we're going to be doing a True Blood cocktail video for you, but... Since this is the last season of True Blood, we wanted to do something special. So we're going to be doing not just cocktails, but a whole cocktail party. This is going to have hors d'oeuvres and a dessert and some drinks based on characters who are no longer with us. All of our favorite gone but not forgotten. So let's get started with the first cocktail. The first cocktail we're going to be making is in honor of... One of my favorites. Mine too. Nan Flanagan, played by Jessica Tuck, who is actually um, from One Life to Live. Oh, really? Yeah. So, in honor of Nan Flanagan, who we do love and will miss, we're going to make a bloody Nan. We're going to make this simple because we're not making our own mixer. But you're going to need ice. You're going to need some garnish. You're going to need tequila. You can also use vodka. You can also use gin. You're going to need tomato juice. You can use V8. What we did was fire roasted tomatoes over a grill, like a barbecue, and then put those in a food processor, blended them up, and poured them through a sieve. So this is kind of a nice fire roasted tomato juice base. We're gonna put some extra horseradish in this, some salt, we've got some black salt here. The most important thing is your mixer. What I'm gonna be using is Dimitri's, the classic Bloody Mary seasoning. This stuff is awesome. Okay, so if you want salt on your glass, you're gonna start by rimming the glass with a little bit of lime. And then just, then throw some ice in the glass. You can use tongs if you wanna be like clean. A shot of tequila or so. I'm gonna do a teaspoon. This is something you do to taste. This stuff is very strong, very concentrated. Let's do a little bit more. A little extra horseradish, however much you like. Your tomato juice. I just spilled the rest of the way. And then garnish with any number of hot pickled vegetables. I've got some green olives, some asparagus. And that, did you just eat your garnish? No. Yeah. Is a bloody Nan. Who? You'd be bloody Nan. That's what I said. I said Anne. Oh, it sounded like you said bloody Anne. No, I said bloody Nan. You guys don't know what you're talking about. That's a legend, didn't take one. There you go. What did it? What did you say? All right. So for our second beverage, we are going to be making a sangria in honor of Russell Edgington, who was so much fun, played brilliantly by Dennis O'Hare, who is also in American Horror Story. And hey, we also did that drink for American Horror Story. So there's lots of drinking. And this is Russell Edgington's Fairy Blood. Sangria. Nice touch. Do you like the, what the flourish? <laughs> no, the name. Oh, okay. For this sangria recipe, we're going to be using red wine. Half the bottle, all the bottle, a sure. little bit of the bottle. So we're gonna add port. Okay. You don't have to add this. This is just going to make it a lot darker than it would normally be. A cup or so, about a half a cup of orange juice. I'm gonna do probably a shot or two of the um, Dami Damiana, Damiana, Damiana. How do you say this? I don't even know that. I, I say, don't know how to say this. I say Damiana. Damiana. It sounds more I call expensive. It, I call it boob drink because it comes in this bottle. This is amazing if you like margaritas. Or boobs. Yes. Raw organic. Raw organic, organic honey. Untouched by anything Untouched. but God in a bee's backside. Bruce brought this over from Ohio. This is his stepdad, I think. So if you don't have your own, like, beehive with bees making honey, then... Store about is okay. No. <laughs> just don't. I don't even want to hear about it. Orange slices and some lemon slices. Give this a nice stir. You would normally want to put this in the refrigerator and let it chill overnight, at least for a few hours. We're kind of cheating here. Now, you can also add any variety of strange, exotic, hard to find, or completely impractical fruit. But we are going to be going with a single wild hibiscus blossom 
placed at the bottom of the glass. And when you're ready to serve, a little bit of sparkling water. Oh, sweet, merciful f Steve Newland. Oh, hi. Steve Newland? I thought we were doing Marianne first. Oh, are you doing a twofer? Yeah. <sighs> All right, guys, for our next segment, we're going to be doing our hors d'oeuvres. We're doing two of them for two characters. The first one is for Marianne Forster, we love so much, which is Michelle Forbes, a name that I know because I'm a geek and she was Ro Laren. And the first time I saw her, I was like, it's Ensign Ro. It's Ensign Ro. And she was also in one of my favorite movies um, with Kevin Spacey called Swimming with Sharks. Have you ever seen it? It's really good. Frack you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go to the locker room and have Arnold sex. What? So what we did for these, these are chicken hearts. If you haven't tried them before, try them. They are actually quite good. They taste like dark meat, if you're afraid. This is actually a take on a Greek souvlaki. Isn't that what it's souvlaki. called? Souvlaki. We decided to go Greek because of the whole main ant thing. We thought that was fun. And we actually found a wine. It's Dionysus. And I thought that that was a lot of fun. This is kind of a twist on it. Go ahead and say what's in the marinade. Uh, it's quarter cup of your Dionysus Merlot, or really any red wine. One quarter cup of olive oil. Two tablespoons of fresh lime juice. One bay leaf crumbled into tiny pieces. Four cloves of garlic smashed and finely minced. Two tablespoons of dried oregano. And one pound of chicken hearts. And then, of course, salt and pepper to taste. Yes. So they just go in the marinade. They're in there for... Two to three hours. And then... Or more skewer them and grill them. Now you don't want to cook these very long. Two and a half minutes either side should do the job. Mmm. They're so good. Gross. They're good. They're good. You ate one the other night and liked it. The God who comes demands his sacrifice. That's my favorite line of hers mm -hmm. of all time. When she tells Carl to come in the kitchen and then she backhands him to the ground. Nobody needed towels. <laughs> Our next appetizer is for Steve Newland, who I love, 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 love so much. This is Michael Mc... Is it McMillan or McMillian? McMillan. I love you, Jason Stackhouse. Steve Newland is all about the flippity switchy flip floppy thing, right? He's versatile. He's kind of a snake. Oh, that's a good way to think of it. So what we've got are grilled sweet potato JoJo's, sweet Jesus potato fries. They are steak fries. Ah, see what we did there? And two-faced ranch dipping sauce. Oh my God. Bruce is gonna walk you through how he makes this. This is a ranch style dipping sauce that starts off really cool and then has a lot of bite. A cup of mayonnaise, fresh mayonnaise. Although store-bought is okay if you don't have fresh. Half a cup of coconut milk. Two teaspoons of onion powder and two teaspoons of garlic powder. Two teaspoons cayenne pepper. Two tablespoons of pepper vinegar. How do you make this? Basically, what I did, you can take any kind of peppers you want. If you want it extra spicy, leave the membrane and the seeds. Some black peppercorns and some garlic clove. Boil some white vinegar. Just enough to cover the peppers and the garlic. Leave a little bit of air under the cork. Leave it sitting for about two and a half, three weeks, and then you've got yourself some hot pepper vinegar. This was great. really hot, and it was only sitting for like five days, though. Anything. Drink it. This was quick. No. You've got some of the... Some of the actual pickle. Habanero and two garlic cloves. So there's yep. two chunks of the two habanero. Of, two chunks of habanero. So one pepper, do not stick it in your mouth. Don't touch your face. Yeah. Ow, I rubbed my eyes. Yeah, don't do that. I'll do it later. I'm sure I will. This is three tablespoons of fresh dill. If Put it in. you're using dried dill... You use less. You use three teaspoons. So this is all gonna go in a blender. You could use an immersion blender if you want. You could probably use your magic bullet. Thank you. One, two, three. <laughs> and there you've got ranch. your two-faced ranch dip and dip. Oh, it's really good. And then it burns. That was good though. All right. There you go. We've got Marianne Forrester's marvelously marinated Maynard Hearts and Steve Newland's Sweet Jesus Potato Fries with Two Faced Double Dippin' Ranch Dippin' Hot Sauce Spicy Ranch Dip. Dip. 
All right, now it's time for our dessert for yes. our True Blood cocktail party. Lois Smith is a two-time Tony-winning actor who was in... I know her from a lot of movies. Did you ever see Black Widow? I don't think From I the know. 80s, Minority Report. Minority Report. She's been in a number of things in television and in movies. And look, Samuel L. Jackson of old white she lady. is the Samuel <laughs> Jackson of old white lady actors. Adele Stackhouse's. This is Grand's Pie! Pecan truffles. So, what you're gonna want, I have um, two cups of pecans that have been in a food processor pulverized into little crumbly bits of flakes. Yes. One and a half cups or so of any cookie that you would like. These are gluten-free vegan chocolate chip cookies from a local bakery. You're gonna do three quarters cup of brown sugar, a third cup light corn syrup, and about a teaspoon of vanilla. Roll these up into little balls and put them on just parchment paper and stick them in the freezer for about 30 minutes to an hour. We actually have some that are already cool. And then you are going to be immersing these, dunking them even, yes, in chocolate. So for the chocolate sauce, this is just 12 ounces of dark chocolate chips melted over a double boiler with two tablespoons of coconut oil. And using a fork to kind of roll that around in the chocolate and just slide Start it off. Snap with a little... The whole little pecan. Right there. And when you're done, you oh. have little pecan truffles that look just like this. And they're freaking delicious. They're really good. They're really, really good. Mm-hmm. Bye. It's like cookie dough in chocolate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope that this was fun and informative and educational and all that other stuff it's supposed to be. And be sure to turn in to, tune in to True Blood on HBO. This is the final season. It is. Season oh, seven. We'll be watching and drinking. For all our favorite characters who are gone, people who we wanted to, we didn't talk about, I wanted to do something for Terry, but it's just too soon. And who else? Terry was my favorite. I did oh. like Jesus. Jesus um, was good. Who else did I like? Possibly to Eric. No. Possibly, yeah. We don't know. Mm. We don't know. He's They're... a mystery. Yeah. Well, they did finally show his wang. We were going to yeah. roast a hot dog for him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Russell's boyfriend. Oh, Talbot. Oh, Talbot. Talbot. Mm -hmm. Talbot. We had pasta a la Talbot. We did. That was our first mm -hmm. True Blood party was pasta a la Talbot. It and was spaghetti what, what, what was the... in a glass jar. Oh, oh. Godric. 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 Not mm -hmm. the god who comes. I was going to say something mm -hmm. completely. No. Oh, what died. about um, That's what about right. Right. she did. Yeah. Oh, and Mousy. Debbie Pelt. That Debbie was a Pelt. good one. They yeah. killed my cooter. And Cooter. And Cooter. Yeah, Cooter. And, um, and, and Cooter. And, and the little the little techie vampire oh, that we liked. Eggs. Oh, the techie vampire. Yes. Ooh, another HBO show. Yeah. And drink Christopher Maloney. What's his name? Chris Maloney. Roman. 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 God. And his wife, whatever. Salome. Yeah. Salome. Oh, there's Salami. Salami. <laughs> Who's Salami That's Agrippa? Racist. And everybody. Oh, oh can, um, the can I Warlo. toast? Warlo. Warlo. The Texan from. Oh, yes. Um, War Warlo was who hot. fly in her mouth and then. <laughs> oh, and Sam Oh, that's girlfriend. right. Oh, oh, she died. In the first that's episode. Okay. And what about his um, brother? Sam's brother. Oh, his That one made me sad. Tommy Mickens. Tommy Mickens. Said. Terry Pickens. To a nice pair of buns. The Merkin? Oh. Her Merkin. Her amazing Merkin. Oh, well, that's Let's amazing Merkin. Dead. We could have done I don't that, want to that see without any more. Can we, do, can we do a toast, though, to um, Maudette Pickens? Oh, Maudette, oh, Maudette, Maudette Pickens. Pickens. She's the first one. She was the first one to go. Hey, May she be thanks, the last. Thanks all around. Go. They drink like girls. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. And please remember, until I see you next time, which will be soon, take care and drive safe. Bye. 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 Wave.